Go into weather, Kelly Simek. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. We're waking up to really nice conditions to kick off our work week. And good news is, for the majority of the week, they're going to be sticking around. So taking a look at our live Zephyr Cam, you can see a lot of sunshine out there, which we did see over the weekend as well. And today, wind speed is going to be pretty similar to what we were tracking yesterday, with winds today up to about 25 miles an hour. That high pressure system to our north, though, it's going to be gradually weakening. And starting late tomorrow, we'll start to see some of those wind speeds trend down a little bit more. We can expect a slight uptick in showers by the middle of the work week, but today into tomorrow, dry conditions expected to prevail. A few passing showers coming through. The satellite loop has been showing a few of those patches of low-level clouds that have been pushing through the trade wind flow, bring brought on shore. Cloud cover continuing to favor the windward Malka areas, as is pretty typical for whenever we have our trade wind weather pattern here. So expect a few passing windward Malka showers, leeward side sunnier and drier. Now, I did want to update you on the systems I'm tracking in the eastern Pacific on Friday, all of these had high chances of formation, but we didn't see anything form just yet. And then late Friday and over the weekend, they did form. So oh, let me back that up. Sorry, I want to name them for you as we go through. So the very first one that's the closest to us, that's the depression. We're looking at this nine right here. So that's this one. And then we have behind it Hilda and then Hilda's a hurricane, and then behind it, Tropical Storm Ignacio. So now let's go through and look at the tracks. First, we'll start with Hilda because that's the strongest one and looking like it's going to be nearing us a bit well before, er, well after it weakens, good news on that front, but still we could see some moisture. It's currently a category one hurricane with sustained winds of about 80 miles an hour, forecast to weaken to a remnant low, but take a look at the track. We're expecting this to come through, potentially bringing added moisture by next, or this upcoming Sunday. So still far out, we're about a week away from it, but it is looking like we could see some of that rainfall get brought on shore. Again, just some added extra moisture, very similar to what we saw last week with Felicia and Guillermo. Yeah, a little bit more rainfall, but nothing too major. As for nine, very short-lived, expected to be a remnant low potentially by later today already, and that's well before it reaches us as well. As of most forecast models show this passing to the south, but as of right now, you can see the official track from the National Hurricane Center does show this lifting a little bit further to the north. So I'll keep a close eye on that, see if we see any additional rainfall from that. And then Ignacio, which is just off Mexico, not going to be an issue for us at all. This is going to be weakening well in the eastern Pacific. It's pushing a little bit further to the northwest, but again, nowhere near us. So good news on that front. It's a really good reminder, though. Of course, we are in the middle of hurricane season, so best to always have your hurricane kits ready and be prepared. Good news, Central Pacific is in the clear of any systems right now. Really beautiful picture that Betty DiPolito sent us. We're going to be hearing about surf from her in just a bit. But you can see, hey, it'd be a nice day for maybe some paddle boarding. North and West Shores, not much going on. She'll have details on that. Breezy today. By tomorrow, those winds ease off a little bit more. Winds today to 25, tomorrow to about 20. And it looks like that'll be the speed that'll hold through the rest of the forecast period. All right, that's look at your weather. Now I'll send it on out to Surf News Network's Betty DiPolito, who has all you need to know on the surf front. Hey, good morning, Bonsai Betty. Hey, Kelly, good morning. Well, that wind is uh, ramping up the surf over at Makapu'u and the east shorelines. Kind of dangerous, too, if you're on a floaty or something. Uh, pretty high winds up to 25 with our trades. And Makapu'u in the three-foot range, maybe even some rough, bigger sets coming through on eastern exposures. Sandy Beach, one to three. We got a little bit of surf in town. A little south swell, two, maybe two and a half feet. Pretty small. Uh, that buoy at 1.5, 15 seconds. So definitely a little energy from southern hemisphere uh, makaha picking up that little south in the one foot range maybe a foot and a half but pretty small and ankle high on the north shore but the wind is not making it very good for paddle boarding midday up to the afternoon so just a half a foot boy ankle high very small and no real swells forecasted that's for sure for the next week or so maybe a little bump uh, about the 14th of august on the north exposure so we'll keep you posted we'll keep watching that forecast high tide one p.m. 1.9 might be some box jellies left over being blown around and 710 is your sun pal Hanatan.